Hey what's up guys it's Mike Tech back again with another video and today I'm going to be doing a video on this Wi-Fi router sitting right here in front of me that I actually did a review on a couple of days ago. Um, basically the reason why I'm doing another video on this router is because people have been asking me how to flash the firmware on this router and switch it to a different firmware. Um, they just can't seem to figure it out Well, the reason why you can't do it it's because you can't do it with the software that comes with this firmware. You actually have to uh, press the reset button that's on the front of this thing. And the way you get down is either you need to have something small like this. This is a little screwdriver with a very small tip as long as it focuses. There we go. Very small tip right there. The fit down inside that very small hole that you see right there in the front of you on the front and you also need to have an internet cable this internet cable needs to be plugged from the router so not the first port come on I focus not the RAN port but the LAN port so there's two different ports there's the RAN which is WAN and then there's the LAN which is LAN you want to plug that into any one of these ports that you see up here on the front after you do that plug the other cable Come on now, focus. There you go. Plug the other cable into your laptop. And this part, I need to have a tripod because I need to actually show you how to, uh, what button to press and what to look for once you press the button. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back. And now I am going to show you how to, uh, what button to press and how to press it and what to look for after you press the button. So, this is what you want to do. You want to take your screwdriver or your really thin tool that will fit inside this hole. You want to push this in here and then you should hear a click. Like a click like you're hitting a button. So, I don't know if you can actually hear that. Let me bring it closer up to the actual computer. I mean the camera, maybe you can hear the click. So, just try and listen for it. So that... That little clicking sound that you hear, hopefully you can hear that. That is the sound that you're looking for. So do, so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and take this screwdriver. Put the screwdriver inside a hole. Press it down until you hear the click. And then turn plug uh, the plug into the little power jack. And then you're going to see some blinking lights. Come on. So there you go. So now I'm holding down the button. The lights are starting to flash. What you want to wait for is you want to wait for this light to come on. So that light right there. Okay, so wait a couple more seconds. Okay, so now the light is on. So now you want to wait for it to start flashing. Now you see how this light is flashing repeatedly? That's what you want. So ignore this one. This light down here, ignore that. That light doesn't exist. What you're looking for is this one. The one with my fingers next to. It has to be flashing repeatedly. And it has to be flashing very slowly. That's what you're looking for. So now you can release this button. Put this to the side. Just let that sit right there. And um, now we're going to take. Now we're going to go over to the computer. And I'm going to show you what, uh, what address to type in. What the IP address is. So you can uh, type that in. And then after you type that in. I'm going to show you how to flash and all the other stuff. So I'll be right back. Hey, what's up guys? We're back again. Now we are at my desktop on my computer. And the first thing I want you to do whenever you get to your desktop, whenever you get to your computer, is go over to the internet browser. And I want you to open up your internet browser. You're going to have a welcome page. After you get to your welcome page, you want to go ahead and head over to the address bar. I already typed in the address. So I'm just going to I'm just going to go ahead and pull it up real quick. But um after you get to your address bar. This is the address that I want you to type in. So I want you to type in 192.168.1.1. The slash doesn't matter, but you can put it in or anywhere. Anyway, um, click enter. It should bring up this page. Um, you're going to have gray at the top, white at the bottom, a whole bunch of Chinese writing and stuff like that. Before I show you how to flash the actual firmware on this router, I want to go ahead and actually show you the actual firmware 
that you can flash to it. So I'm going to have everything linked down below, but this is one site that you can go to to get firmware for this router. Um, the name of this firmware is called OpenWRT. I'm going to have the link down at the, at the bottom. This part of the name does not matter. Ignore that. The only thing you want to pay to, the only thing you want to pay attention to is the actual name of the router. So or the model number. So this part right here matters. The part is highlighted. But you want to go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bottom and you want to go ahead and um, find the part where it says this highlighted part is going to say um firmware um open wrt upgrade url so you want to go ahead and click on that link and it's going to bring up this page you want to go ahead and press save because you want to save it to your desktop or your downloads folder or wherever it is save it and um after you save that if this is the firmware that you want to use you will go ahead and upload it if you don't want to use that firmware there is another option for you to choose on and i'm going to take you to the home page real quick so that way i can show you how the whole page looks but uh, this is the site where you can get the other firmware from if you want to use it this is what the firmware looks like to me i think this is easier um there's a lot more options with this firmware, which is the thing, which is the reason why I like it. But uh, yeah, that's the site. You want to go to where it says download or firmware download. Click on that, and then after you get to firmware download, you want to scroll all the way down until you actually see the name of your router, which is right here, right there. So that's the name of the router. You want to go ahead and click on the downloads button. It's going to show up as a zip file. Um, you want to save that somewhere on your computer. Unzip the file. Inside the file, you will have, let me minimize this. Inside the file, you will have this here is on my desktop. So you will see the open WRT, whatever, 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 upgrade, whatever. That's going to be what you see on your desktop. So you want to go ahead and, um, go back to this and now we're going to go ahead and click on this button now which once you click on this button um i want you to head over to wherever your file is so i have a couple files here inside my downloads folder but the one that i'm actually going to be flashing onto the router is on my desktop so i actually want to go over to my desktop and this might take a little while because I got a lot of stuff on my desktop. So yeah. Where is this folder? Or where is the, the firmware? Here we go. That's the firmware right there. Click open and then say OK. And now it is uploading the firmware. And it's going to start flashing. This is exactly what you should see whenever you are flashing your router nothing but this nothing different and this process might take a little while Okay guys, now the flashing process is done. Um, during the flashing process, you should see a screen that says um, this page can't be reached or something like that. It, it should say something about the page not being able to be uh, brought up or it can't be reached or something like that. What you want to go ahead and do is retype in the address to the router. So you want to go ahead and type in 192.168.1.1 go ahead and type that in after you type that in the page should come back up again if it doesn't come back up again try um, redoing the process over again maybe try using a different firmware or something like that 
but it should work. Um, after you do that, you should have your login page and we did not set up a password for this router. So that's the reason why whenever you get to your login page, just press login. It does depend on what operating system you use or what firmware you use. Um, different firmwares, they might actually have a, a password set up like a, de a default password. It might be a uh, admin. Sometimes it's root. Sometimes it's something else. I don't know, but you have to go to the website and like double check and see if they have a, a default password. If they do, use that password to gain access to the actual routing and all the, the router and all the settings but now that you're inside the router now you can go in here and you can just mess around and you can do whatever you want and you can see that everything is online everything's working the way it should be um it's loading up ip addresses and stuff like that so yeah everything's working so that is how to flash the firmware on this router so yeah, there you go. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, if you want more information on how to do this, I'm also going to have a, uh, a blog written up on how to flash this router. It's going to be on my website. The link to that is going to be down below as well. Um, you, you can also follow me on social media. So it's going to be Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Um, and that's going to be it. Make sure to subscribe to see more videos like this. Like, comment, and that's it. Peace out.